Hi everyone, I hope everyone is having a great super day. Uh, today vid today's video is a video um, of a total mess. I will show you right in a minute. Uh, Garaga was in shed and he shedded like this. This and a bit like there. So today I will show you how I handle bad sheds and we will begin right now. So when you have a bad shed, you need to soak your snake in water, so warm water. That's just what I what I just did. I control, I monitor the temperature. So don't forget something. I will show you. This water is a bit too hot, but not super too hot. You know, for four degrees from what I need. Uh, but don't forget, you don't need 80 degrees water Celsius. Um, you just need a, a hot water not too hot just warm so when you put your snake in it it won't get cold and anything bad about being cold uh, and don't and remember with time your water will get colder so a bit more is nothing wrong i don't know if you see it now but what i can show you is that here you can see the stock of sheds so now what i'm gonna what am i gonna do you pick up your snake and you put him in the water gently just be sure it won't go out of the water and here we are so you can let it go for like 20 10 20 30 minutes depending uh, I let them sometimes for big big snakes it can go to an hour so just the only thing you have to know it to do is monitor if the water gets cold, if the water gets stays too hot, sometimes it can happen, or if the stack sheds are going away. And that's something that can happen. Just monitor it. And I will show you how I what I do now. So I don't know if you're gonna see it, but for example, here you have a stack shed, a big stack shed. So what I'm gonna do if I take it. And I put it right here so I can have all the stock sheds in one place. So I will change the water because sheds in water is not super super healthy water. Here, not a stock shed. You don't see it. I will move with you. Right there, there's not a stock shed here. Here so it sticks on the branch. There's some here, but you you have the the thing you, uh, you you remove every single piece of shed you can see of the enclosure actual enclosure, and when you have something like a little gift you remove it. Also, it's very important to do it. So now that Garaga is soaking for almost 15 minutes, uh, there is no 10 to 15 minutes to wait. Uh, just watch, yes, water is okay. So there is something we need to discuss uh, about bad sheds. So why do you have bad sheds? The first thing is pretty bad humidity level. So for example, a ball python needs between 55 and 75 uh, percent so when you have like me like probably sh in like humidity problems if i let it uh go down i have like 45 so i need to humidify quite often for uh problems for that humidity level go up uh what's another problem is hydration so when your snake is not hydrated correctly the snake can be like have pretty nasty sheds if he don't like drink that much which is not the problem here i'm pretty sure they can be not other problems but that but these are the two main problems you can have that are causing bad sheds so what's the solution of it is when you have a shed soak your snake for minutes and then remove it. I will show you how I remove the sheds. 
as you don't know if you can see right but now it's going off i'll wait a bit because it's not because it's going off like that at everywhere because i have to do the head so you will see also i hope not because i don't like it but how to remove eye caps maybe uh we'll see that but you will see also well how i handle that type of situation that can help you i'm not an expert i'm not keeping this thing for 30 years this is what i do maybe i make mistakes maybe not um if i do just comment it if i don't do it don't do any just don't comment it and say if you if it helped you well thanks for helping or i don't know please hit that like button because i don't like to remove sheds from snakes even though it's sometimes it's necessary i don't know if you can see it but here we are moment of truth of truth truth here we are holy shed is coming out well holy shed is coming out i will show you how i remove stuff so it comes together it comes right you know That's a perfect example of shed right here, I don't know if you see it, with the bubble. That's super funny to watch when you have like shed in the water, but you see all this stuff coming. You see how good it is with water. So here is the first eye cap. I had to do the eye cap so it came by itself. So I removed every single piece of shed that was a really... For the hit pits, it's super, super delicate, super, super difficult. What I... This is the first time I had to do it uh, with these, these things. Because uh, it was super, super small. You saw that shed, like, I don't know if you can see you. No, you won't see it, but like here you saw there was something and when you pulled it, like you saw all the hit bits right there where with the stuck sheds but now it's all okay so when you're done what do you do well you release your snake in this enclosure guys that way or the other way the way you want so here i'll put him in the warm hide always when i have them out i always let them in the war going in the warm hide because they, well, they are colder here than they are there, so I let them go there. So it's, well, he goes in, he will go in the cold higher, right? After it, but whatever. So I hope you would today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Don't forget to support you with Sork, and I hope to see you on the next video, guys. Bye.